Hello and welcome. Today we're going to make a spicy mango sauce with Madame Jeanette. What you're going to need for the sauce is some red onions. I'm using two because I'm going to make a batch for the mango sauce. Cut the ends of the onions, peel them and cut them in half and lay them on the oven tray I have to the left to me. Once you've got the onions, get your cloves of garlic, smash them, uh, peel them and also lay them to the side. We're gonna also put them in the oven. Once you have peeled your cloves of garlic, get your bell peppers, cut them uh, in quarters or in halves, it doesn't really matter, uh, and see them, take out the white parts. Those are the bitter parts. Uh, we don't want the sauce to taste bitter. Once you've cut your bell peppers, get yourself some gloves because we're gonna dissect the Madame Jeanette and the chili peppers and you don't want to get that in your eyes. Once you've put on your gloves, get your Madame Jeanette peppers. Cut them, take out the seeds, the seeds are the most spicy parts and, and we don't want it to be overly spicy. Now do the same for the chili peppers, uh, cut them, take out the seeds, uh, the seeds are again the spicy part and we don't want it to be overly spicy. Now that you have cut and de-seeded all your ingredients, you can put them on the oven tray. I forgot to preheat my oven, but you have to turn on your oven as high as it goes. Preheat it um, and we're gonna roast the ingredient. Make sure your cutting board is clean again because we're gonna cut the mango and peel it. Get an extra bowl to put the mango in. You can also take off the gloves, we're not gonna need those anymore, we're not gonna touch any more spicy stuff with our hands, so throw them away, you're not gonna re reuse rubber gloves. Now get your mango, slice them in half, if you have a ripe mango you can just twist both halves and it just will let loose. Now grab a spoon, uh, there's no cutting needed, you can just uh, spoon out one half and cut out the seed of the other part. If you want a little snack while cooking, you can just turn it inside out and just eat the rest of the mango flesh of the... Now let's try getting out the seed of the other half. I tried doing it with a spoon, but that didn't, didn't really work. I put the spoon aside and just start peeling it. Uh, that worked very, pretty well, so uh, I would recommend doing that. If you have a ripe mango, it just works fine. There's my little visitor, uh, my cat also wants a piece of the mango, a piece of the show, but oh well, he isn't allowed on the counter, so I had to get off the counter. I let him sit there for a while, but he started playing with my utensils, and I don't want to get her in my sauce. I tried to get most of the mango flesh of the seed. Uh, I did it with a spoon. It works pretty well if you have a ripe mango, like I said before. So, uh, if you can't take it off with a spoon anymore, get a knife and uh, slice it off. Now I do the same with the second mango. Uh, like I said, I made a batch of the sauce, so I used two mangoes. If you just want a little bit, use at least one mango. Uh, you can have the ingredients. I've put all the mango in the bowl next to me. Uh, we're gonna need that uh, with the other ingredients that are still in the oven. Now 
Now get your blender. Uh, we're gonna fill it with all the ingredients we just prepared. Get the ingredients out of the oven, turn off your oven and check if the ingredients are a bit blistered, as you can see. Get a fork, put everything in the blender. As you can see, it's a bit roasted, a bit blistered. And that's how you know the ingredients are good. Also put in the mango into the blender. Uh, my blender was a bit full. I didn't really measure how much my blender could fit, but I was like, eh, it will fit. Once you've put everything in the blender, get your apple cider vinegar. You're gonna need 300 milliliters of apple cider vinegar, pour it in the blender. The next ingredient we're gonna add is some salt. I use two tablespoons of salt, you just can pour it in the blender. We're gonna mix everything eventually. The next ingredient we're gonna add is some sugar. I use four tablespoons of sugar. The last ingredient we're gonna add is a lemon, just roll it a bit so the juices can get out easily. Now that all the ingredients are in the blender, uh, make sure you get your base of the blender and you can turn on the blender. Make sure you put it on the top. My blender was a bit full so I had to put down the top. As you can see it's coming off. Uh, I had to push down the top of the blender. Once everything is mixed well together, you can take off the top, uh, check the sauce. I taste as it. It tasted really nice, it was sweet, but also a bit spicy. Uh, I like spicy food, so I think it worked well. Now get yourself some glass jars to put the sauce in. I tried pouring it without a funnel, but I didn't want sauce all over my kitchen. So I started using a funnel. As you can see, I ended up with one big jar and two little.